Cafe for French toast before I head to Disney Town and uh, the hotel area. I had this place last time, it's pretty good, and they have Wi Fi. I probably should be a little embarrassed I ate this slice on my own. Ah, oh well. Just took my first taxi by myself. What? I can only say hello, goodbye, thank you, stop, and no. So getting here uh, was kind of nerve wracking, but then once I saw the Mickey Mouse signs, I knew we were going in the right direction. And the guy was cool too. Various plants, I could not begin to name them. There's some people hanging out was the intention of this place. Just noticed there's a glass bridge here. Still the waterway by the Disneyland Hotel. It's fun. It was quite the walk in this heat, but definitely worth it to see everything. Kind of different aesthetic than I was gonna picture in my mind. This sort of amphitheater here, can kind of hang out. Maybe watch the fireworks. There's the castle right there. So maybe at night you can see the fireworks. Getting a little closer to the hotel now. Still on the block. So, turns out from this side of the hotel, you have to have a key and I'm not about to spend another hour trying to find well not another hour but spend an hour trying to find the front of the hotel so that's all right I guess I saw it up close from the outside and I'll go have a cold drink in Disney Town how about that meanwhile Eric was inside the park saying goodbye to where he worked for the last four and a half months I was told the architecture and design reflects the city of Shanghai. We'll see that a little later. The brickwork here does mimic what I recall seeing. 1938, a nod to Snow White, lots of little touches here and there. And look who got off work. Eric can now have a little fun. This is the next day and it was my second time to this area here, the French concession. I absolutely love it. The trees, they create these tunnels down the road. So glad I was able to go back. So this is the French concession, for sure. Where we are, yeah. I didn't want to give the wrong information. I would have looked silly. Look at that, beautiful. This is a place Eric came across a few weeks prior to me returning to China, and I'm glad he took us back. Tasty. What's fake about it? She took us fake. It's her authentic building. Authentic Chinese building. I wish I knew the, the name of the architecture. Do you know it, Josh? It starts with an S. It starts with an S. The name of the style of architecture? Yeah, the style of architecture. The way it's like, this Old, the, but not really? No, no, no. This white, uh, the black brick on the you know, Chinese roof. Oh. <clears throat> it's like Shin Kumin or something like that. Hmm. Well, it's pretty cool. I like it. Just so happened I have a shot of a hallway or walkway mimicking that in Disney Town we saw earlier. By the way, this outdoor shopping area of very interesting walkways is called Shintendi. I'm so glad my husband brought me here to show me the in and outs of the city.
I'm in no way a spokesperson for Godiva, but their soft serve was amazing. Right, so we're at Fishing Park. This place is really cool. We're in the middle of the French concession. So here is a, a Chinese part of the park. It's split in half where there's Chinese gardens and then further in there's a like more manicured French gardens. Let's go check it out. So Disneyland, Shanghai Disneyland has a bunch of grass areas like this. This is why. Uh, some kites way up above. Obviously they don't do kites at Disneyland, but parks are a big thing. They're a big thing at home though too. Maybe just not as much. I'm a fan of this park. It's pretty cool. Everyone's just lounging or dancing. Here, tell me what this is called again. Tianzafang. Tianzafang. Less haggling, much less haggling. Actually, no haggling. I bought something, no haggling at all. Probably gonna haggle. Mm, should I have? Uh, I really wish I had taken more f video footage of Tianzafang. This day is a memory that will stick with me always. I hope to remember it always. And I can't thank Eric enough for showing me this part of his life while he lived in China. This area was just so adorable. Look at this. So thanks for joining us here in Shanghai, China. There are other videos from our time there, and if you're interested, they're up on the channel. Thanks for watching.